what's going on Hick Squad out here with another video and in today's video this truck goes and gets fixed yep you guys heard it right this truck goes and gets fixed I was calling around to some shops some tuning shops and stuff like that and they uh, said that they couldn't diagnose the truck and uh, they led me to this one guy he said he couldn't do it and it led me to another guy and he says he couldn't do it and I finally found a person who can diagnose the truck and it's the dealership in uh, Quitman Georgia and he's uh, he said he can diagnose the truck he's got the big computer and all the fancy stuff it's uh Cass Birch I'll leave a link to their dealership in the description if you guys want to go and check them out they are really good dealership really good prices and all its vehicles yes we bought I bought two vehicles from them I bought a Jeep and I think I bought another vehicle from him he's actually a really really cool guy he has amazing stuff in his showroom too so yeah, we're gonna the guy supposed to come here with the tow truck to pick up the truck here in a little bit and uh and yeah, wish me luck. People are saying that it's not the ECM that's wrong with the truck, which I kinda kinda believe that it might be, but it might not be. It might be that something very simple to fix. So wish me luck. Hopefully uh they can fix it and we can get this truck back on the road and we can get get ready get going on this build of this truck too I uh, got the hitch that I'm supposed to get it's in the mail and uh, I can't wait to get this truck done and uh, since we're here and I have it outside here's a truck that ain't been on the channel for a long time it's my LMM Duramax you guys here here it is, the Mistress. The LMM Duramax. It's got a uh, axle dump exhaust. I ain't got a tip for it yet. But uh, it's got some XD wheels. And shout out to the Doghouse TV. My boy Travis down in Jacksonville. It's locked. It's got a two pot gauge, leather interior. And it's got a uh, Garnet Turbo, which this thing has an insane, insane turbo whistle. Actually, we love this truck. I'm telling you, if I brought this truck down to Daytona, I'm probably going to have to get a new set of rear tires because. This truck loves to do burnouts. I'll add the clip right now. Hey, that was pretty insane, right? Told you this truck can just do burnouts for days because it's EFI live tuned. And it's got the Garnet Turbo, under under over uh, injectors, and everything. I can I can just sit here all day and name all these parts that are done to this truck. It's absolutely insane. But uh, that might be a next build, maybe from 20, 2021 or something like that. I really want to build the second gen, which is in that shed right there. And uh, maybe put that thing on some 26s and uh, tune it up and get it all back up running. Because that truck ain't running and ain't been running for six years. Because I just never thought about doing anything to it. But uh, that's actually, it's actually my brother's truck. But uh, I like I like to... Uh, he let me drive it and all this stuff and I was like so I really considered the truck mine because he ain't got a driver's license yet but uh, it's his truck we bought it for him so 
depends what he wants to do with it for Daytona, but uh, but uh, yeah, that's the LMM Duramax. It ain't been on the channel for a long time. It's still here. I still got it, and uh, I love it. you guys it was built how'd you guys like that that uh, little boost launch with the old dirty max uh, it was pretty I only launched launched it on about maybe five ten pounds of boost be only because that truck needs to get fixed also same as all like all my dang other trucks but um, what's wrong with this truck is the uh, CV axle and uh, needs a uh, new fuel filter. I have that on order. It just hasn't came came in yet. But uh, that's why I only lost it on five to ten pounds of boost. But uh, that truck pumps to some serious power. So maybe when we get this truck completely fixed, and especially when we're down in Florida, because we'll be down leaving in three four days down to Florida to our new house. So the house tour video will be coming up soon. But uh, yeah, that's the mistress. I haven't, haven't had this truck on the channel for a while. And I thought, I was like, well, we had to back it out of the garage for all the movers to pack all the totes and everything. And get everything set and ready to go. I was like, well, you know what, I'm just going to go out here and shoot a quick video at the truck. And I uh, told you guys that Gurnet Turbo screams, man. That thing has got some serious boost. I mean, that thing spools up. Just like that, and uh, I love that turbo. I was actually thinking, looking at get well, getting one for the 04, but uh, I was like, well, if I get one for 04, I might I might not go Gurnet. I might go Silver Bullet 66 for a uh, 65 millimeter turbo that I've been seeing. I've been looking at trucks on Facebook Auto Market, and every single comment that I've seen basically that has a turbo upgrade it's always a 65 millimeter turbo so so we'll see we'll see what's wrong with the red truck hopefully it's something really 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 simple and uh, we can go and get this truck done and uh, get it down to Daytona and I'm currently looking at a, looking at another truck so hopefully we can bring two trucks to Daytona this year for 2020 so uh, you guys stay tuned, the tow truck should be here pretty soon to pick up the red truck and I'll get that all on video and uh, hopefully, hopefully they don't ruin the rims, please don't ruin my rims, that, that's another thing I need to happen right, so you guys stay tuned. Alright guys, Clifford's all loaded up, it's on the uh, tow truck, he's all loaded up. Ready to go get fixed. Um, Cass Bird said they'll give me a great deal on fixing the truck, so I was like, well, alright. So, it's loaded up. We possibly might hopefully be getting this truck back in a couple days, and hopefully, it'll be running. It's a simple fix. Because we're going to be heading down to Sebring, Florida, and you guys can hear in the background of the A10s out here flying around. So, you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe check us out on facebook instagram twitter and i'll catch you guys on the next video later